So, what are dreams and what do dreams mean? Just as importantly, why do we dream? And can we use them to our advantage? You know I'm a proponent of simulation theory. That means I believe the world we're living in is simulated. At its base level, it's a virtual reality where the only thing that's fundamental is consciousness. Well, the dream world is not any different. It's just another virtual reality world for your consciousness to inhabit. How many of you have been in a dream that you thought was completely real? I know most of you would say yes. Some of you even believe the dream world to be even more real than our shared reality. I was just in a dream last night where I was interacting with my deceased father. He looked and acted differently, but I knew it was him. Towards the end of the dream, I found myself feeling incredible emotions of sadness, and I was crying so hard in my dream that I awoke. I discovered tears on my pillow, and when I was having my dream, I thought it was completely real. At no time did I think it wasn't real or that I was in a dream. Let me just say that according to simulation theory, nothing we experience is truly real. Everything we see, hear, touch, taste, and smell is just information being decoded by our consciousness into something tangible, similar to the Matrix movie. The people imprisoned in the Matrix thought it was completely real and had no idea there was anything outside of it. The dream world is just another virtual reality that our consciousness can reside in, albeit temporarily. So if the dream world is just as real as our real world, why are we the only ones that can experience it? Furthermore, why is it so fluid and malleable, always changing and never really the same night to night? It's because we each create our own dream world and we're typically the only consciousness to access it. Each night we dream, though we may not remember them. Our minds are constantly making up new scenes for us to inhabit. And we really do create them. Have you ever seen some of the detail in your dreams? How do our minds make that up on the spot? And where does the lighting come from? How can our brains, which reside in, inside a skull that never sees a single photon of light, create a world where everything is lit up? It's because our minds have the ability to create entire worlds from scratch, and it's all done through our subconscious. That's how powerful we really are. The landscape of the dream world and the things we can do in it, like fly, jump off buildings, or be impaled by a deadly knife or bullet with no pain, is because it possesses a different rule set than our everyday reality. Our shared everyday world has a rigid rule set, where everything is fixed and physical things and processes don't change much. If you place your keys on your table, chances are they'll be there tomorrow. But in the dream world, everything is in flux. Dreams can begin suddenly and end just as quickly, and they don't follow any one particular set of rules. Another big difference in the dream world is time. Time is way different in our dreams than our everyday world. I can easily tell you this from my own experience, and I'm sure you've sensed this as well. As an example, I used to suffer from a disease that made me really tired in the afternoon. No matter how much I slept the night before, I got tired. Often I'd be in class or at work and doze off for what had to be no more than 5 to 10 seconds. Well, in that time, I would dream, and it felt like weeks, months, or even years had passed. Many of my dreams had these long backstories, and each person in it had a rich history with me. I wondered how that could be possible from sleeping only 5 to 10 seconds. Even if I was dreaming for a few minutes, it seems inconceivable. And it wasn't like I was having the same dream every time. They always appeared different. It's funny, but for many of those dreams, I couldn't remember the details, but they would evoke very strong feelings. So, now back to my original questions. Why do we dream, and what do they mean? Well, dreaming is a way of working out problems and helping us to learn and grow. In the real world, we face problem after problem. In dreams, we face challenges too. How we deal with them either evolves the level of our consciousness or doesn't, just like in real life. However, in the dream world, we get to make decisions with no consequences. 
This is one of the best benefits of dreams. We get to experience things that seem real and it forces us to make decisions that we think will have consequences but don't. Now, here's another important thing to consider about dreams. The decisions we make in the dream world almost always come from our being level. That is from who we truly are. We rarely ever make decisions from our intellect in dreams. In the real world, we often make decisions from only our intellect, but the dream world is the opposite. You can tell a lot about yourself by the decisions you make in your dreams. If you do genuinely good things in your dreams, you're a genuinely good person at the being level. And unfortunately, just the opposite is true. Many times, the greater consciousness system, or the thing that runs our simulation, provides the dreams we experience. Often, these dreams will put us in situations that test us. These dreams challenge us by playing on our ego and our fears. If we continually make the wrong decisions, we'll usually have to experience the same dream over and over. For example, I've had a reoccurring dream for the past 20 years, even well into adulthood, that I'm in my last semester of college and I failed to attend a class or study for the final test. And due to that, I'm going to fail the class and not get to graduate. While I'm now in my 40s and still get this dream sometimes, it's probably because I had this actual experience when in college and I'm still allowing my fear to overwhelm me in my dream. However, once we pass the test in a dream, we usually don't get it again unless the greater consciousness system feels that we've regressed. In that case, the dream may present itself again, just to make sure we're still over our fear. Remember, dreams are not here to haunt us or to scare us. They exist mostly to help us learn and evolve our spirit. So what do dreams mean? Our dreams are often metaphors for the events that are happening in our life. They also show us who we really are and reveal our deepest wants and desires. You can't hide from your true self in your dreams. They expose you and challenge you to move past your fears. Most people dream in color, but some only in black and white. We all dream every night, but dreams are not remembered unless we wake up out of REM sleep. Even then, dreams are quickly forgotten and fade from our memory unless we really try to remember them or write them down. On rare occasions, we have lucid dreams. These are dreams where we have a lot more control of our thoughts and actions. In these type of dreams, we make decisions from the intellect, like we do in real life. So instead of just acting, we think about how we should act and then make decisions. I had a lucid dream about a year ago, where I was in a toilet stall, and there were a bunch of guys hanging around, so I had no privacy. It was kind of similar to a jail bathroom. I said to myself, this has to be a dream. To my amazement, one of the guys said back to me, this ain't no dream, man, this is real. At that point, I couldn't distinguish the dream from reality. Henry David Thoreau put this sentiment quite eloquently when he said, our truest life is when we are in our dreams awake. Our dreams are usually a place from where we can continue to learn, make decisions, and evolve. As Tom Campbell says, we're here to work, and even in sleep, we're trying to evolve the level of our consciousness. Keep in mind though, dreams are definitely influenced by our everyday reality. If you lack something like friends or intimacy, you're more likely to dream about those things. If you have certain fears or worries, you'll likely experience them in your dreams as well. Can dreams predict the future? Well, for some people, yes, but it's rare someone will have a dream about the future and it comes true. The main takeaway is that dreams are just another virtual reality world that is just as real as our real world when we're in our dreams. Our dreams happen to assist our evolution and help us work out challenges and overcome blocks. The rule set and the laws of time are way more fluid in the dream world. Often we don't even complete our dreams because the dream is there just to teach us something. When that lesson is learned, the dream often ends and we begin a new one. That's the way it works. So don't fear your dreams. Work on continuing to evolve the level of your consciousness by making good loving choices 
in our everyday world, you'll slowly improve the quality of your dreams, as they're often a reflection of your true being level.